Civilization is one of the games of all time. Initially developed in 1991 and still ongoing today, the game is known for having famous people like Gandhi, Stalin and Robert. Essentially, you play pretend as any country from history and try to become the ultimate nation by exploring, expanding, exploiting and exterminating everyone else. According to the lead designer, Sid Meier, a game is a series of interesting decisions. Thank you for your contribution, Sid Meier. From now on, you will be forever known as Mr. Civilization. I like Civilization. The game, not the person. It's fun. It's simple. It's fairly accessible and it takes forever to finish. Many of you already know this game, but what if I told you that there is a Civilization game out there that you haven't heard of? One that Mr. Civilization released, but did not design. I'm talking about Civilization, the card game. Yes, this is a real game. And while I've never tried the game myself, it did give me one brain expanding idea. What if Civilization was a card game? Any game developer worth their G Fuel will tell you it takes two seconds to come up with a good game idea, but it takes two years to turn that into a failed team release. So instead of doing two seconds of research, I did two minutes. And here's what I found. Forex games, the genre Civilization is in, is quite successful on its own, and so are card games. But combining these two is quite rare. Almost no games of this type exist, but there are a few honorable mentions. Hexarchy, which was published by Yogscast Games, and Thea, The Awakening, which was developed by Muha Games. And for the non-fluent in the audience, Muha means fly. Hexarchy lives up to the idea of civilization, but card game. It is exactly that. Everything in civilization with weird card mechanics. And it did fairly well on Steam. Thea, on the other hand, is an interesting game. Having 4x movement and development, but a card-based combat. Surprising everyone, Muha Games have developed a surprisingly good game. And I know what some of you are thinking. Oh yeah, if Thea is so good, why isn't there a sequel? Okay. Now that we know what a Civ clone card game looks like, let's try making one. And where better to start than a humble hex tile? And with a bit of not so fancy math, we have a hex grid. Why is it weirdly colored, you might ask? I don't know. I'm still trying to figure that one out. I recorded this a few weeks ago. Next up is cards. Pretty important that you have good card mechanics that make the player feel good. They have to have that oomph. Think Slay the Spire. Cards hover. Pan from side to side, float, tooltips, the chef's kiss of feel-good mechanics. Don't worry, it, it gets better in the future, I, I promise. Next up is Fog of War. Civ 6 has this really cool map effect for undiscovered and discovered parts of the map. And in my game, cards go in and cards never come out. Fog of War? More like Fog of War on your ambitions and dreams. Fast forward a few hours and I realized you can rotate the camera a little to achieve a better perspective. And I also fix the fog. But you get the idea. I worked on a fair few features. Highlighting, claiming land, getting land stolen, card hover, all that jazz. It was also around this time when things took a bit of a slow turn. The more I kept developing, the more I was realizing how this game was going to be too much for a solo part-timer like myself. And here's why I decided to move away from the project. Making a card game was fun, especially with cards in 3D which I think became a trend only after Hearthstone released. However, making a good card game is hard. The bar of quality that you have to achieve is quite high. You have games like Slay the Spire, Inscription, Monster Train, Go to Simulator, Bellatro. You get the idea. These games have a narrow focus. They know what they want and they know the story they want to tell. A Sith clone, on the other hand, can only live up to its origin. A good example of this is Souls-like games. Some of them hit the mark, but most of them do not. They fail to meet their inspiration. And I don't think that a Civ clone card game will be able to meet the expectations of Civilization players. To put it in simpler terms, I would just prefer to spend my time working on something that feels more like me and something that I know I'll be better at making and happier when I finish. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting me, only a dollar a month in any currency, I think. You gain access to the Discord server that I'm trying to pull together. My goal with the server is to start a small game dev community and make games together. Link is in the description.